pills we take and have a V after them, okay? Please That's believe it. it. That's <laughs> it. Look at this, y'all. This is cute. Fluffy. Her I'm fluffy. My birthday is fluffy. Too. We gave our new name, y'all. Big Money G. Congratulations. I guess that's my new name. <laughs> don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Just lay in it. Spin all day in it. My head is don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. They say with it. I'm okay with yeah. it. Shout out to Jerly Sheet for sponsoring today's video. All of the links and my sizes, all the information you need will be down below. If you want to see what I got, how it fits, and if you should buy it, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all, first item is this oversized cardigan sweater. It has some graffiti written on it. It is a nice, thick, like good quality material. This is not a thin rinky dink sweater. No, this is gonna keep you warm at work, at the movie theaters, just whenever if you wanna look cute and stylish. It's supposed to fit oversized. Y'all know I'm a big girl, I'm big up top, big at the bottom, so it's fitting me pretty much like just right, but I love like just to be like a little slouchy, like comfortable look. Sleeves come nice and long all the way to my hands. And yeah, y'all, this is, this is nice. This is super cute, I love this. Okay, next we have this bomber jacket, this Letterman jacket. Y'all, I love this. I love this. I have on just some black leggings, the same sports bra that I was wearing, and y'all, it matches. Okay, it matches with the jacket. The jacket is gray, black, and cream. This is cute. I love that it comes right to my waist, so it's like the perfect cropness. It's not too short, not too long. I can button it if I want to. This is like perfect with sneakers. You could dress it up, wear some little boots with it too, but y'all, I love this jacket. It's giving quality. And it's giving like fly girl, like fly city girl, you know? Okay, so we're moving from jackets to tops now. So this is my first top. It is a sweatshirt. It has a picture of a gorilla man or something going on right here. And then it does have writing on the sleeve. I don't know what it says, but it has some writing on the sleeve. It does have pockets here in the front, like a regular hoodie. I'm not a fan of the material because it's not really sweatshirt material. It's more of like, almost like a thick legging. I don't know, it's kind of like a silky, shiny material. I mean, it's still really cute. Ashton has already claimed this hoodie, so this is going to her. So I'm like, girl, okay, do what you want with it. And it does have working drawstrings in the hood. The hood is a really nice size, as you can see. So this is like real cute with some colorful sneakers, some colorful leggings or whatever. Yeah, this this for like the young girls. That's why, that's why this is going to Ashton. But it's still cute though. Okay, so this is the first t-shirt. It's just kind of like a fitted tee. You see what it says here across the front. I ain't mad at it. You little fake it till you make it. You know, you can get the luxury look without paying the luxury prices. So it is a nice quality. As you can see, it's nice and thick. It's not see-through when it stretches. Y'all know sometimes when items stretch, the color stretches out. This one does not do that. So it's just a really nice, cute, basic tee. Wear with some sneakers, heels, whatever. A pop of color purse. A luxury t-shirt without the luxury price tag. So let me get a little bit closer for you guys. You can see the logo here. Super cute. The t-shirt is a really nice fit. It comes a little bit below the waist. So you can just dress this up, dress it down. You already know, wear with a little pop of color bag, sneakers, heels, however you wanna do it, girl. Okay, y'all, we are now moving into the two-piece set. So what do I call myself? For those of y'all who have been here for a while, I call myself the two-piece set queen because I don't like to think about an outfit. I like to already just grab it out of my closet, pick out my shoes and my bag, and we're done with it. And this outfit hits all the check marks. So this is a two-piece outfit. It comes with a long sleeve t-shirt, some leggings that come, not really high rise. I would consider these maybe like mid rise leggings. They do come all the way down to the ankle, y'all. I'm five nine, okay? And yeah, they touching the ankle, okay? They're not high waters, so we definitely love that. We appreciate that. This pattern, it does stretch out a little bit, 
the color stretches just slightly but nothing really like too noticeable i do have the shirt tucked into the leggings so you can wear it either tucked in or out and y'all i'm gonna wear this with like some black boots a red bag a pink bag a blue bag and that would be like my pop of color but this is cute this looks like really nice i like this y'all know this is me all the way y'all will see me in this one of these weekends coming up very soon Okay, y'all, we have another set, and it is definitely giving skims, like, yeah. And it's snatching your girl in. Do you see the body? Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, this is like one of those, like, really comfortable, like, spandexy outfits. I feel like this is good for travel, like a plain outfit, because it's all black, it's sleek. You can wear sneakers with it. You can put your black sunglasses on, be rolling your bag through the airport, look effortless, but you're still gonna look put together. Also, this is one of those comfortable outfits. Y'all know when I travel, I like to have breakfast outfits. So if I'm staying at a resort, I don't wanna put on my clothes for the day just yet. I wanna put on a nice comfortable outfit that I look semi put together in, walk down, eat my breakfast, and then come back to the room and get ready for the day. So this outfit is perfect for that. So it's super stretchy. It is definitely, like I said, giving skims because it's giving like Mong John cut right here. It's super high rise, stretchy, a nice ribbed material if you can see. Okay y'all, this is the next two piece set. It does not work for my body type at all. This is a mini, mini skirt. I can't even turn around because you already know things are hanging out. But on a slimmer girl who is not as wide as me, I think this would be a look. This is one of those fake it till you make it because you already see the name brand here, you know. You get the luxury without the luxury price tag. So if you're a slimmer girl, you like the way that this looks, girl, and you can rock it out in public without being all flashing everybody, then go ahead and do that. Okay, y'all, we have now made it to the dresses. I see it is very, very nice quality. It has some thick rhinestones going across here, going up the sleeves. The material is nice and thick. It's not gonna be see-through at all. It is a mini skirt, as you can see. I'm a tall girl, I'm thick, like I say all the time. So everything's gonna be a little bit shorter and tighter on me. But this is a nicer length than the last skirt that I had on. At least I could actually wear this out in public <laughs> and don't have to worry about them falling out. Probably wear it with some thigh high boots. I would even say you guys can wear sneakers with this if you want to dress it down and just give it like a casual street look. But this is a really cute dress. I just can't get over how good the quality is. And I love the rhinestones on here. Okay, besties, that completes today's try on haul. Huge shout out to Jolie She for sponsoring today's video and sending me over these cute items. Let me know down below what your favorite item was. Mine was the black and white two piece set and then that gray cropped letterman jacket. I love those two items. Y'all get those, okay? The quality was good, the fit was great, and y'all, the prices of the items is even better. So check down below in the description box so you can get all the information you need to get your shop on and to get some cute items for this upcoming summer. All right, y'all, now let's go ahead and get into this vlog. Okay, y'all, y'all already know where I'm at. This is where we starting off the vlog. Welcome to the travel vlog, guys. So I'm super early for my flight, so we about to go to the Centurion Lounge get some free libation some free food wait on the bestie april's gonna be meeting us here too so yeah vegas treat us good this weekend so they got breakfast out right now looking kind of skimpy and then they're gonna put lunch out they said at 11 o'clock so that's in my own oh, not in eggs it's too creamy yeah <laughs> i asked mr charles for a strong strong mimosa y'all <laughs> no names, please. No names. Okay, I'm not <laughs> gonna get you. I'm not gonna get your Facebook. Just your hands. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Ooh, he gonna get me right for my flight. Mmm. And with the strawberries, fresh strawberries. Okay, this is my plate: sugar grits, potatoes, pancakes with strawberry, bacon, and my drink. Let's see how strong this drink is. Oh, that's strong. I hate pepper straws though. They get stuck to your lip. If anybody cared about what I was wearing, this is a three-piece set. 
But I got some BBs. Y'all saw when I picked this up about a month ago, I believe. I paid $7.99 or $6.99 for the entire three pieces. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> then I have all my Chanel sneakers. And then, of course, y'all know I always carry this bag whenever I travel. And yeah. Airport fits matter, as I always say. Hey, y'all. Oh, shoot. I am not tipsy. I, I promise you I'm not. But I got my Tito shots. Bottoms up. Okay, I'm still here for the lunch. Got some mixed vegetables, some beef stew, rice, corn, and of course, another drink. Two hours later, y'all. Look who shows up. Birthday girl, April. <laughs> and the bestie. She said she's trying to make it make sense. I don't think I told y'all, but the Amex Lounge does not let cardholders bring in two guests anymore. Your guests cost $50. That's out of line. All these fees that we pay, $50 for a guest? No. That just went into effect February 1st. So any of y'all who are Amex card holders and try to go to the lounge in your local airport, just remember, your guests are going to have to pay. For children, $30. Adults, $50. Hey, Plenty of times on my vlogs, but we're staying at Aria. I don't know if I told you that already. Yeah, we're staying at Aria. So, oh, I want to go to this. Oh, the Waldorf story. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, just letting you guys know we're here. I'm gonna show y'all the room once we check in. Hey, y'all. This is Aria. Look at that. Look at this. Look at y'all see the sign? I can barely see, but it says Aria. That is so windy. Oh, oh, it's windy. Look at my, look at my wig. Is it the card that I used to uh, pay? Um, it's one of the cards that you want to do the Flamini balance and then the Interplum trip. I'm here for three days, then I leave from here and go somewhere else for three days. Okay. <laughs> yes. Can I and now can I ask you if me and my friends can be by each other? Is that asking too much? Okay. She's checking in right now. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Trying to get an upgrade and be by Jennifer. floor the stay well premiere floor so the difference on this floor is we have what we got friend we got hold on hold on hold on let me get this <laughs> one okay let me sell this right quick like she just sold it to me and i i took it okay we got purified mineral water mm. we have purified air we have a more comfortable bed mm. um and basically those are things this is a more 
a relaxing floor if you're coming to relax and gather yourself. Oh. This is well worth the money. This was additional fifty dollars per night. Mm. So I beat the bait, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the timeout corner as always. I'm always in the timeout corner. Let okay, me let see. Me After a mile long walk, we have arrived. Bitch, open up. Shit, had to use my strong arm. Okay, tour time. To the right is the bathroom. We got the shower and tub combo. Okay, no waterfall shower. Thank you, Aria. And we have the double sink, your girl, bathroom. We got the privacy door. Yeah. Then we come back out. We have a whole closet here, a closet there. If you guys care, it's really nothing to see. Got the Aria robe. Then full-size mirror we got the king size bed sitting area there fridge what is that a coffee station a coffee station no it's not a coffee station it's just a snack bar i guess the office seating yeah this is the room <laughs> nothing spectacular let's see what my view looks like oh it's the strip. There goes Planet Hollywood right there. I don't know if that's the Cosmopolitan. It has a big C at the top. I'm not sure. There's the MGM Grand. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm about to start a group chat with the ladies, see what they want to do. I think everybody's hungry. I know April keeps talking about the crab legs downstairs. She was like, Aria has the best crab legs. It's already de-shelled. So I'm like, oh, I'm cool with that. Y'all know I don't like working for my food anyway. Oh, so nice. Okay, let me text them. Y'all know I usually unpack, but this is like the perfect nook for my luggage. So I might keep everything in my luggage. I don't know. <laughs> I am taking stuff out of my carry-on. Not my carry-on, my personal item. Trying to keep all my electronics in here, so I'm just pulling some of this stuff out. My perfume. We bought some um duty-free perfume. Lily had recommended this perfume. I, I just I trust her nose. Okay, I trust her nose when it comes to a scent. We got the Paco Rabane or Raban Fame. It smells so good. Like this is such a good like spring summer scent. And this is how the bottle looks. It's it's literally that alien right there. So we got it duty free, but I think they did charge us tax. They did. They were like, if you were charged, if you were flying internationally, we could take the tax off, but we can't since you're flying domestic. I'm like, whatever, it's fine. And I was like, watch me go in at TJ Maxx or Marshalls in the next two to three weeks and find this for like $49. It was only 80, but still, you know. Let me go see what Buddha. Baby, they done left Buddha some real money. I, don't, I see some da bills, some dollar dollar bills. Look at Buddha. He got some dollar dollar bills. They, they gave Buddha some liquor. Okay. Look at that. He got some big old nipples. Look how big his nipples are. You gotta rub the belly. <laughs> the man in the cocktail bar made our drink strong, but I'm not trying to pay for too many more of these at all when I can go play the penny slots and get some free ones it's strong though i feel it my ears are burning a little bit <laughs> y'all we're now in caesar's palace i don't know what my hair is doing we in caesar's palace what is my hair doing we're about to go to the bacchanal buffet y'all look are oh, you trying to get come on you trying 
Look up. Hips, 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 hips. <laughs> Yo, that one drink got me lit. Oh, God. This where all the sports betting goes on. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see, but that's all sports betting. We at the Baca now. Y'all want to see that price? This one for you? What that price say? For one buffet? Yes, ma'am. Just one. Uh, can you check and see if I have my rewards? Remember, what, does that get you a discount? She knows she ain't not about that. What you asked her? You asked her if she What's had a rewards member. A Caesar reward or card? Uh, what do you, you need? The card? The actual, the actual card. Oh, okay. Okay. Eighty-seven dollars for buffet. Y'all, the buffet starts over here around the corner. Look, that's all down there. And then we walking all through here. This is more. Yes, ma'am. I've been here before. All down there. This is all buffet. Buffet, buffet, buffet. Oh, that looks good. They got salmon, smoked salmon pizza. Try that. That looks good. Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oink, oink. The swine. That salad look good. But we ain't doing salad today. <laughs> we just left from the Asian and Mediterranean side. Now we're on the Mexico side. Look at all this. Look at that. Oh, I need one of them tacos. I need a taco. We don't want one on her plate. Look, right here. Chicken and waffle. What's that? Wood grilled lamb T-bone. Oh my god! Don't shoot me away, helper. Don't mind if I do. We got a whole seafood part, y'all. What all? I ain't getting none of it. We got this part, y'all. Look at that. Y'all, let me show y'all what I got. Birria taco, Mexican style hot dog, salmon pizza, Asian rib, Asian egg roll. What is this called? Korean chicken, General Joe's chicken, shrimp, rice, chicken and waffle, uh, french fries with brisket, lamb, and a cheeseburger. Baby, I'm just gonna try everything. Mama's meat, and it was so much more that I did not get. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Taco. Let's try the lamb steak. Oh. Yeah. French fry with brisket. I'm gonna make it back to uh, You know what the roll is about it? <laughs> For real. Yeah, we done made it to the dessert table. I done tried. This is on this is not even half the desserts. This might be a fourth of the desserts. Cinnamon roll. With bread pudding, pineapple upside down cake, egg tart, Mexican wedding cookies, strawberry shortcake, tiramisu, key lime tiramisu, lemon tart, a s'more, cookies and cream cupcake, creme brulee. All right, y'all, we done. We leaving out. I ain't even show y'all most of the buffet, but we definitely. Thank you. I want to use the bathroom before we go. Tinkle real quick. Anyways, I was saying I, we didn't eat ninety dollars worth of food at all. We went for the experience. We literally sam just sampled. We took little bites. Morning, besties. <laughs> this is our first full day in Vegas, y'all. Let me tell y'all about last night. Oh my goodness, we went and ate last night at the Bacchanal buffet. We were falling asleep at the table. We were literally falling. Itis was kicking in at the table. So we had a section booked at Dre's because Gucci Man hosted last night. So we had a section booked at Dre's that we booked like over a week ago. Paid our deposit and everything. So we were so tired after eating that we were like, let's go back to the hotel we're going to sleep for 45 minutes to an hour just to refresh ourselves. And then we'll get up 
and we'll start getting ready for the night. We were like, okay, cool. Let's set alarms. Let's blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I got back to the room. I flung this wig across the room. I set an alarm for one hour. I don't know if I set an alarm or a timer. I can't remember. Y'all, that at that time, it was 9... 15, 9, 20 maybe. When I opened my eyes, it was 12, 20. That 45 minute to an hour nap turned into a three hour nap. I start calling Jennifer, I call April. They were in bed sleep too. Jennifer was like, I'm sleep. I can't believe we oversleep. I can't believe this. April, oh my God, I can't. I think April had woke up like 10 minutes before I called her because she did a uh, text in our chat saying is anybody up <laughs> so last night was a bus last night was a bus um we should get our deposit back prayerfully hopefully the deposit should come back you know we put a lot of money in anyway yeah so last night was a bus we talked on the phone probably for 10 or 15 minutes and i literally went back to sleep and i'm just waking up at 8 a.m. So it's 8.30 right now. So I've been up for 30 minutes. For me to sleep that long, y'all know my body usually wakes me up after like six hours, seven hours sometimes. I usually never get eight, nine, ten hours of sleep. Anyway, today's a new day. Good morning. We got plans. We got the Usher concert tonight. We have the Usher after party. Um, Yeah, we're about to get up, get ready for the day. I know. They're in the chat talking about getting breakfast. She's up, finally. Let's see what Vegas is looking like outside. Did I do this right? Oh, it looks like it's probably a beautiful sunny day. It's so pretty out. But I know it's a little chilly, illy, illy. But it is nice and, ugh. Blue skies, sun is out. Y'all, I was so tired last night. I actually took one of these bottles off. Y'all know these bottles in CVS are what? $2.99? They're gonna charge me probably $10 for this one bottle. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've been hearing a noise outside this window. I wonder if they're cleaning windows. It's Saturday. They ain't cleaning windows today. But I kept hearing like a noise for like the past 15 minutes. Am I gonna hang my stuff up today? I don't know if I like this uh, picking clothes up uh, out of a suitcase. I'm 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 past that. I'm I'm bougie now. I I hang my stuff folded up in the closet. Y'all not gonna believe this shit. Y'all not gonna believe this. Look what was in my shower. This gonna steam up probably. Can y'all see this hair? Hair. You wipe y'all off. Hold on. Sorry, y'all are steaming up. I did not notice that until I was already taking my shower. There are three blatant strands of hair in the shower. It goes to show that that shower was not cleaned at all before they gave this room to me. Because a simple wall wipe would have gotten that off. And if any custodian, not custodian, um, room made whatever they're called came in here they would have cleaned that that this is that that's crazy and now it makes me think are the sheets dirty did i sleep on dirty sheets last night because i just showered with somebody else's body hair and no it's not mine because baby look at this it ain't mine okay and i've been with this bonnet on that is I, I, oh that's that's sick that's sick i'm about to go i'm not about to call i'm about to go to the front office i'm gonna walk when we go downstairs I need, I need this room, I need my sheets changed, I need this room cleaned, and I need y'all to comp me on something. This is disgusting. That's sick. <sighs> okay, y'all, this is today's outfit. I put the same wig back on. I actually put a little bit of makeup on. I was gonna go without makeup, but I just did a little do-do-do. This is my Versace t-shirt. These are some jeans that I got from Trend Mall. These fit so good. Y'all know my absolute favorite jeans are the Jody jeans from Topshop. 
my favorite. Jody, Jody jeans, Jamie jeans, they're like on the same level. They're just a little bit of diff different cut. But Jody jeans, Chef's Kiss, these are like a dupe of those. And they're tall girl friendly. And they were only, I think, $19 or $25. So. And then, of course, just my same Chanel sneakers that I wore yesterday. And then I'm wearing gold jewelry, gold earring, gold bracelets. I only brought one bag. So this is the bag, my daytime and my nighttime bag. We're gonna go ahead and open that, this baby up. Y'all, this smells so good. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a, like a little robot with sunglasses. All right, y'all, let's go downstairs and complain. Yeah, we got the bestie. Looking cute, looking Vegas ready. Got the Gucci frames on, the Gucci hater, frame. the hater blockers. It. Hater blockers. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Got the got the unit looking. Who was that by Siobhan J? Siobhan J, the experience. I might need to go to Siobhan J. Mm -hmm. We have earrings, Shein. Shein. Onesie jumpsuit, Fashion Nova. Bag. Bag. L. L. Shape LV. Get into Because on the L's, we take and have a V after them, okay? Please That's believe it. it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> We're sitting here waiting on April. Usually, the group is waiting on me. Or me. On... I told you oh. everything for me. But I was trying to be on time. I said, I don't want to be the weakest link. Today, I was number one, though, She y was number one. And I was, what? Number two. Two minutes behind you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were? Coming She'll be coming down in just a second. She'll be coming around that month when she comes. She'll be coming around that month when she comes. She comes. <laughs> we don't know how to act. We don't know how to act in public. <laughs> Bye. The crystal shots. The Crystal Shops has all luxury stores. If y'all come to Vegas, every store in here is luxury. If you want to do mixed shopping, luxury and, hold on, let me turn y'all around. If y'all want to do mixed shopping, like luxury and lower level shopping, y'all go to Caesars Palace because it's mixed. We got Versace, Burberry, McQueen. Look at this. I ate at that restaurant right there, Mastro's, last time I was here. Well, no, time before that, time before I was here. Here go to Balenciense. Balenciense. <laughs> I want to put that red on like Rihanna. <laughs> right? I just realized what was in her hand. Do the dance, do the dance. <laughs> She's never satisfied. She met each other. This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. Now we're going into the Cosmopolitan to eat. Red bottom. Red bottom, right? I can't get a good shot, but y'all, this is a two story bar. That's the first level and the second level. Y'all, not, not that the buffet got a you can still line for $25, like the yeah. VIP. $25 skip the line like we at the club. This is the skip the line line right here? Oh, that's the regular line. So did she tell you how long Did she tell you how long the wait? Like an hour and a half wait? Yeah, we're skip. They skip the line. Shit. You gotta pay for convenience, honey. I yeah. talked about paying for convenience. Skip the line is skip the line is half an hour, and then the regular line is an hour and a half. Skip the line just had thirty minutes. Okay, y'all. So this is uh, the first plate. We got chicken wings, cream spinach, uh, lamb gyro, French toast, pancakes, salmon, bacon, shrimp and grits. This buffet isn't extra isn't as extravagant as the bacchanal last night, and it's like half the price. So. Let's see if it's good. Hey y'all, April gave me and Jennifer a lesson on how to eat crab legs, on how to properly crack them up, crack them and get to the meat. Yeah, so I got my own. I tell you all the time, I don't like to work for my food. So that's why I'm not well versed oh, in crab legs. Okay. But then it 
wind up cracking on the opposite side. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Avery, you taught us well. gonna do a little shopping. I'm gonna need Jesus to be a shield, a fence, a slap on the wrist for me not to spend too much money, okay? If I can get out of here and not spend a dollar, maybe just a little bit on, sorry, maybe just a little bit on liquor. Other than that, because I said I'm ready for a cocktail. It's only 12.30, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start drinking on vacation. You open your eyes and take a shot. Justice. First of all, it's three stories. They have a whole DJ right there. Look at this. Y'all, this is insane how huge it is. What are y'all's names? Hi, I'm Nikia. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> uh, uh, Shakuta. Something is wrong with this girl. I swear. <laughs> 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 Look at this. Look at this. Look at this
a charcuterie board or something. Something hey, comes with next that. Time, next time you guys come, I got you guys. I'm okay. Okay. We'll make okay. it happen. I'm going to remember I, that I never met you guys. You better be so here. I, I want steak and potatoes when Let's I do it. Because <laughs> this is a good baby. <laughs> oh, my God, Jesus. Is it your first time in age? No. no. We did no. a lot. <laughs> Oh my Congratulations. This is a beautiful oh, moment. You work so hard thank for you. this. You have all those things right there? Yeah, perfect. Do y'all got samples? We can take them. Yeah, I have samples. Thank you, Paula. We want all of it. Anything that comes with that brand. I got you. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God. Does it smell it on you? Oh no. Some type of, don't you put like a gloss? Oh, I thought I've heard people put like a, a coating, a protective coat or something. Uh, no protective coating or anything like that. To prevent it from scratching and things like that. No, it's kind I of heard some lady, I watched some lady on YouTube. She was like, I paid an extra $180 for the protective something. Oh, interesting. No, I've never heard of that. But my, hers um, might, maybe it was a long time ago. The white gold one, it has a rhodium coating on it. So it will keep that rhodium shine to it. Rhodium is, but since you don't have a wash, it doesn't seem no, like. No. Oh, you have a wash. Yeah. Okay. So that's I told you that's big money, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm making assumptions now, that I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong like, every corner. So yeah, follow but, me. See, I'm just yeah, just of course. Close the deal. There you go. She did help close the deal. She did help close the deal. Friend, I'm I'm if anything happened to you, just know they're going with you. I'm not gonna let nobody unscrew that off your wrist. You can unscrew it and take it. Okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in there with you. We both going it's together. It's beautiful now. It's very oh, it's nice. Completely flush. Once it's completely flush, that means that you can screw it in. Okay. Okay. And then for this one right here, it is actually only a quarter turn. So there's a screw right there. Mm -hmm. It's just a quarter turn like that, then it's locked in. But once you turn it one more, it opens up. There's a hinge. I'm going to place this on the inside this of your ridge. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The hinge goes hinge. on the inside of her wrist. Uh, this part goes on the inside, just okay. so it's easier for her to take it on and off gotcha. if she likes. Okay. The best service here at Cartier with Paulo. Yes. If you guys are in the Las Vegas region, Las Vegas, crystal and shops. you want, yes. yeah, in the crystal shops, and you come want, Paulo. want one of these beautiful bracelets, y'all yeah. come holler at Paulo. Don't talk to Let's nobody else. You, you come straight to him. Don't talk it. to Chauncey because Chauncey is hating. <laughs> Put the cooks inside everything inside here. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind, thank you. I get the bracelets, you gotta take a shower. Y'all look okay. So, I got the what are I mean, do they have like a size name? Love bracelet, okay. So, they're the love bracelet, but what are the size? Classic is right here, thin is right here. I got the yellow gold, it also comes in white gold and rose gold. I think that fits you. Perfectly. Yes, this, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Yep. And you like yes. it on the right hand and everything? Like I do. Okay. I do. I think the right hand is good. Mm -hmm. Keep it together. Good. Yeah. Hermes on the other side, Cartier on the other side. Yes. 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 Big yes. Money G. <laughs> we, we gave our new name, y'all. Big Money G. Congratulations. I, I guess that's my new name. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate it. Take care. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and take these, too. Yay. I'm going to go ahead and take these, too. We're taking napkins. We're taking napkins. What else? Oh, my God. He said he was going to give you gloves if you wanted it. Not anymore, but this tray? No, I'm playing. Okay, let me do doing something. No. It ain't even turning close. Yeah, look at these tornadoes. Y'all don't think we're crazy. It's a man up here putting his hand on top of all of these. They were turning colors, and the hurricane, the tornado was going from the top to the bottom when he would put his hand on there, but it's not working Maybe for us. Maybe it was just an illusion. Maybe they just... No, it wasn't an illusion. I seen it. I saw it rise up. Oh, Jennifer said maybe it's a timer, and we just assumed he did it. That could be it. I mean, that could be it, because this is the one that he had his hand on, and it's all the way at the top now. Chauncey's back. Yeah. Chauncey's back. Chauncey's back. Jennifer keep messing with Chauncey because as soon as we walked in Cartier, he said, no recording. No recording. <laughs> All right, bye, Chauncey. No, I want your discount, sir. Oh, Chauncey trying to take you on a date? We want a discount. Chauncey work at Cartier. Chauncey, if you see this video, we want a discount. Not no damn tacos. <laughs> he like them feisty. <laughs> yeah, that was... 
I was reading Chauncey. He told me to put my camera. But how up. many dates have you been asked on already? Chauncey, the little Hispanic dude, the little Hispanic dude when we first walked in here. Then it was a lady who told Chad to follow. Oh you. man. <laughs> She, she did. She was standing jumping what like a piece of, a piece of a rare, medium rare steak. And then walked up to her and said, can you look me up on Facebook? I want to befriend you. <laughs> Who else? Somebody yesterday too though, right? <laughs> okay y'all, we're back at the room. Let's see if they cleaned my nasty hair infested shower. Let's see, let me put my bags down. Okay, I got clean linens on my bed. Okay. Yeah, those are clean. I can tell those are different sheets for sure. Turn on some lights. Let's see. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me, bitch. You have got to be kidding me. Y'all, like, y'all refresh my towel my soaps but you left the hair y'all have got to be fucking kidding me okay 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 let me let me let me this hotel costs too much damn money for this to happen too much money i came in the room shower's dirty had y'all clean my room, shower still dirty. They're currently assisting other guests. Please stay on the line and our representative will be with you momentarily. Hold. Please remain on the line and a representative will be with you. Um, I have a problem um, with my room. I spoke with somebody at the front desk earlier this, this, uh, yeah, it was this morning. It was this morning, probably around 10 a.m., between 10 a.m. and 10.30. Um, when I took my shower this morning, there was hair stuck to the wall of the shower. And that was, I'm sorry? What is hair in the wall? On the wall of the shower, yes. Do y'all think the proper, the, like proper etiquette for a hotel to fix this? Like, my shower was dirty. I complained to the front desk. Y'all said y'all were sending somebody up to clean it, and it's still dirty. I'm, I'm trying to. What is like the proper thing I should ask for? They ain't gonna give me a free night. They're not gonna give me that clearly, for some hair being in my shower. But that's disgusting. Like that's so nasty. Cause it's like, I don't know. Give me some free um, casino tickets. Let me let me play the Powerball. What is it called? Not Powerball. That's lottery. Let me play the slot machines. Give me like seventy five dollars on slots. Give me like seventy five dollars worth of free drinks. Some a free meal. Some something. That's nasty. Aria, this is a nice hotel. Like y'all are a nice hotel. Y'all not cheap. Y'all are very expensive. So. Right. But I can use it for like catch the restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, so how do I use the how do I use that credit? Just charge to the room, okay? And okay. And once you are checking, I just call us and we are just showing you. Okay. Can I use it for like the mini bar too, if I wanted to use something? Uh, not in the mini bar, but this is only for the restaurants. For the restaurants, okay. Mm -hmm. Because the mini bar is like a retail as well, so only in the restaurant. Okay. So I got a seventy-five dollar food credit at any of the restaurants. We're actually going to catch tomorrow, so maybe I'll just use it there. <sighs> okay, well that's taken care of. Um, yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited about my bracelets. Like, I'm so excited about them. It's something so simple, but these were on my wish list. Like, I tell you guys all the time, we don't work to just pay bills and pay taxes. We work to do the things that our heart desires, to buy the things that our heart desires, make experiences that our heart desires. And I just always say, your money comes back, your time does not. So 
these bracelets. Actually, just one was on my wish list, which was the normal one, the regular size one. But then I seen the mini, and I was like, that would be cute for stacking. I'm definitely not wasn't buying two of these back to back. They would new kind of hot. But um, yes, yeah, so I was like, I could stack it with the mini. It's just so it's cute, and it's just like it goes with everything. Let me show you guys my list. Where my phone at? Let me bring y'all over here. So I made a list about. I want to say maybe two years ago. It could have been longer. It could have been three years ago. But I know for sure it's been two years. I think my lip gloss kind of dragged across. It got stuck to my lip and then dragged across my face. Okay. So this is my list. If you guys can see. There we go. See, it just says wish list items. These are just things that I, I want to buy for myself. So my Louis Vuitton suitcase, y'all know I bought that, what, a year ago maybe at this point? So my Louis Vuitton suitcase, a nude Lady Dior, bought that probably about a, a year ago. Red Chanel, I bought that maybe like six to eight months ago. A green Lady Dior, bought that almost like a year ago. Two-tone Rolex, there's no check by it. That is next on my list, I want a two-tone Rolex. Cartier bracelet, which is what I bought today. But you see next to it, it says B-Day. I was going to buy this as... A birthday gift for myself and I never did and I don't know why what did I buy myself for my birthday what did I buy myself for my birthday do y'all remember did I buy myself anything I mean I went on a trip that's that's a gift in itself but anyway that was gonna be a birthday gift for myself I never got it um, a diamond bracelet y'all know I bought that for myself um, when I got my, my name piece made last year and then I also bought myself another diamond bracelet when I went to St. Martin um cuban link choker that's still on my list haven't gotten that a purple givenchy or ysl bag a yellow dior bag it don't have to be dior but dior got a cute pattern of the yellow one that i like goyard bag either black or green a orange dior bag pink chanel or ysl bag i got myself that um a chanel black and white sneakers y'all know i got that a long long time ago like i said i've made this list probably like over two years ago uh van cleef bracelet in gold with a question mark the reason why that one has a question mark to it that was the newest thing that i added to this list a little while ago because i've never seen that on my wrist and i want to i've never touched it when i've seen the girls like stack them on their wrist it looks really cute but i need to touch it and feel it if it feels too dainty like if i'm gonna run it through my hair and it's gonna get caught in my hair and it can break or i just want to see how like sturdy it is because i don't want to pay that amount of money for a bracelet that's like not sturdy so that's why i have a question mark by it but i'm big on manifestation guys we just not i'm not gonna do a whole thing about this but i'm big on manifestation i have it written down i know these are things that i want these are things that i'm going to get myself and to me when you write stuff down or when you speak it over your life over yourself like i'm going to make six figures i'm going to go on my dream vacation i'm going to do this i'm going to buy myself that bag that i've been eyeing for the past two months i'm very big on you can when, if you speak it it will happen it will come into fruition so that's one way you can manifest things over your life you speak it you have it set in your head that it's already happened or it's going to happen and it will happen for you so yeah everything that i write down i get period point blank period i get it and i do it <laughs> so it's done but anyways it is 5 54 april is getting her hair and she april did a big fella birthday she hired a hairdresser and a makeup artist to come to her room do her hair and makeup for her birthday for tonight for the concert um i guess i might I'm, i would love to get a nap in but i'm not sleepy i just know my tiredness Will probably hit me it'll probably hit me before this concert so it's like do i just lay down and make myself take a nap because at this point i really can go down to the bar and drink so or i could use my 75 dollar credit because it's about to be six o'clock and we at 11 a.m it's been an hour and no one has been up to my room to clean this fucking shower it's been an hour. It's time for me to start getting ready in like the next 20 minutes. And I do not want to take a shower with somebody else's hair in it. The fuck? 
they need to hurry up. But in the meantime, I'm about to, I think I'm about to drink from the mini bar. I've never drank from a hotel mini bar. So we're about to see what the prices are. I looked inside the bar and there's like no prices listed, like labeled or whatever. But this is like the concierge thing right here. So we're about to see. Room service. Wait time, 40 minutes. Should I order some room service? Did she say? No, she said my thing is only available at the rest. But how much is room service? Let me see. I might order something. Anyway, we're supposed to be going to the mini bar. Hold on. Let's let's do that. Liquor. <gasps> You've got to be shitting me. $21 for a, a shot? <sighs> what? 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 These mini shots of Bacardi, these are cheap. These are like $2 at Specs. <gasps> Oh my God. Okay, well, I lied. I'm not buying, I'm not getting none of these. I was thinking they were probably like eight or nine dollars. Not 21? Oh my God. No freaking way. Oh, entrees maybe? Okay. Y'all is fancy. I want a burger, like a chicken sandwich, a burger, french fries. Like, I don't need all this sandwiches burgers okay so i got a chicken sandwich y'all and this is where they get you delivery is ten dollars delivery is ten dollars oh my gosh this is oh so i decided to save my ten dollar delivery fee and walk down and get food I don't want y'all in the comments saying, but Gina, you just bought Cartier bracelets. But Gina, you just, Gina, you just, and you don't want to pay a $10 delivery free. No, I don't. Absolutely not. I'm getting a little fluffy. So let me get my steps in, burn some calories and walk and save my $10. Okay. My good sis Jennifer's coming with me. I just called her. So she's going to uh, meet me downstairs. And we just gonna walk to the food hall and get some meat. What's my hair doing on this side? It's doing something funny. That DJ, I don't know if his name is Steve Ioki or Dave Ioki. I think it's Steve Ioki, but his pizza restaurant is in here. It's called Pizza Aoki. What is it? He's, He's working on it. Oh, okay. Hi, picking up an order? Okay, so let me tell y'all what the hell just happened. I'm trying not to talk loud because the housekeeper might still just be like right outside my door. Y'all, finally at 7.30 p.m., the housekeepers come. So I'm in my room. I'm eating the food that I ordered from downstairs. In my room eating, she finally comes. Y'all know I had called housekeeping. Um, y'all, when I video, when I, when I showed y'all on camera and the lady gave me the um, room credit, that was around... 5 p.m., 5.15, housekeeping comes around 7.30. She's like, what's going on? You need your room service? I said, yes, it's my bathroom. My shower was not cleaned properly, but my rest of my room was already serviced. She said, okay, I'll take care of it. She mops the floor, cleans the toilet. She's in there for a good 15 to 20 minutes. I'm sitting on the bed, and she's like, okay, I'm done. I'm like, okay, thank you. I'm like thinking that she did it already. Like everything is done. She closed the door. So I go to turn the shower on. The hair is still there. The hair is still there. So my room was cleaned when I checked in. My room was cleaned again today um, for housekeeping. And then this third time cleaned again. And y'all still left that. Y'all left the hair all three times. So now I'm just like, y'all don't clean the walls of the shower. Y'all don't clean the walls of the shower. That's that's just what it is. So all of my subscribers that are watching, um, when you come to a hotel, look at the shower walls and make sure there's not little hairs or whatever. I'm, I'm I just they don't clean shower walls. That that's just my conclusion after all of this. 
But before I go, I'm, I, I think I had cut myself off. I had ran back in the hallway and she was like one door down. I was like, it's still dirty. The hair is still there. She was like, where? Where's the hair at? I, I thought you were talking about hair that was on the shower floor. And I wanted to be like, bitch, you did not see no hair on the inside of the shower on the floor because I was bald headed. My hair was braided down with a bonnet on. You did not see hair on the ground. You didn't. Like, stop it. So anyways, she did clean the wall. Yeah, see it coming down my eyes, so I gotta make this song cry. Yeah. Put my socks on. Then put my boots on. Boots getting baggy. Jennifer's heading down. April's heading down. So okay, five minutes. Not even. Really, not even five minutes. Less than that, but. Yeah, five minutes. I gotta do an outfit check with y'all. Oh, I don't think I told y'all. Dame is here. Dame Dash. Flavors by Dame Dash. Life of Dame Dash. He's in Vegas. So we are going to try to link up today, tonight, after the party, after the after party. Hopefully, I'll be able to see him. I tried to see him earlier today, but... um. He was like, oh, we're at Fat Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, right across from the shops. I'm thinking he was at the shops at Aria, my hotel. He was at the shops by Caesar's Palace at a Fat Tuesday over there. So it just didn't work out. So yeah, let's put the glasses on. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. My first time wearing sunglasses in three months. Oh my God. These don't even really touch my nose at all. Oh my God, my first time wearing sunglasses. This is weird. Oh my God. I'm actually, what, five days shy. Today's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days. And four days is my official date. I'm supposed to be able to be okay with sunglasses. So I don't think four days early gonna hurt nothing. What y'all think? Anyway, let's check out the outfit. I ain't even look at my outfit in the mirror, but I'm about to give y'all a little sneak peek. Bitch looking like money, feeling like money, smelling like money. <laughs> okay, let's start up top. We got the Loewe sunglasses. Okay, gold hoop earrings, Loewe top. Then these are like some acid, not acid wash, but like some faded black denim straight leg jeans from Fashion Nova. And then I have on some booties. I want y'all to see the bottom of my pants. Y'all can't. They're straight leg jeans and they're tall girl friendly. I think they're, the inseam is either a 33 or a 34. So yeah. And then this is the only purse that I brought. If I had this outfit on at home, I probably would not wear gold. I'd probably wear silver just because there's gray in the shirt. But I got on gold rings, gold bangle. Bam! But they covered up though. But bam, bitch! <laughs> so, yes! I need some pictures because, yeah, she's giving it, girl. Okay, let me go because these bitches is already down in the lobby. I'm leaving my camera here. I'll be vlogging off of my phone for the remainder of the night. These glasses are so cute. I could link them down below if you guys care. And this shirt. I'm feeling myself if you can't tell. I'm about to take this jello shot and be feeling myself even more. Look at the birthday girl. Birthday girl, birthday girl. Jenny, Jasta, Megan. <laughs> and y'all seen the birthday girl looking all glamorous, showing us all up. <laughs>
Let me tell you how old I am. Y'all hear this Uchi Wally playing? Y'all Google the year that this song came out and this song was popular. This how old your girl is. I was at a concert, they were performing. They pulled us on stage, me and, me and Tina, me and my sister, they pulled us on stage to dance with them at the concert. That's how old I am. <laughs> yeah, I've been extra my whole life. But anyway, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Well, afternoon at this point, because it's 1.30. We did not get back to our room until 4.30 in the morning. Um, it was uh, daylight savings, so spring forward, so we did lose an hour. So we got back at around 4.15 in the morning. I didn't go to bed until about 5 a.m. probably. Um, I don't think I'm putting any makeup on. And this bathing suit I have on is so weird. Like, why does the top and the bottoms have strings that are a mile long? I don't understand. It should be one or the other. Like, why is there? It might not look like a lot, but y'all, it's a lot. And then when I bend down in my little fat roll, it all just piles up in the middle. <laughs> but this was one of those bikinis. Y'all know all my bikinis that I buy Fashion Nova, I get on clearance. I don't pay full price at all. So I think this was, this um, two-piece bikini was probably less than nine dollars probably like 7.99 or something like that you know so i'm trying to add my scarf on my head and when you buy yourself the scarf is so silky when you pull on it to tighten it usually it slides off your head you ain't got an extra hand to keep it on there so this is what your girl does you put your head against the wall and then you tighten it try not to get your hair tangled up in the oh shit is this not working Oh hell, it's still sliding. Wait a minute. Okay, she's on. $3 scarf at DD's. $3 scarf. My $500 scarf, I've never worn. I just think the $3 scarf hit better. I mean, it's still cute. It's still cute. I just like this one better with the all black though. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. I finally get to wear my glasses. They're so cute. But I just have on this see-through top. Y'all saw the bikini from Fashion Nova. These mesh shorts are from a store, just a local store in Houston. And then I just have on some black and gold chain sandals from Fashion Nova. Go bracelets, go bracelet, hoop earrings, go rings. Yeah, and then I have a black um, pool bag right there. Uh, April was saying the pool isn't packed, so we can just get a seat anywhere, get some food, and just sit and do whatever. So, But I do know some people here that are having another pool party somewhere else. They're getting a cabana at another pool, and I don't know. We might link with um, some other people that I know here. I don't know. But that's the plan for right now. That's the plan, Stan. Oh, y'all, this stuff. This Saint Tropez, it's called One Night Only Wash Off Body Bronzing Mist. I got this for a dollar. I think I showed y'all this when I first got it. Got this for a dollar. Never used it. Y'all, I used it today. If you have like veins that are like at the surface like mine, I have very... I got veins that you can see. I don't know the, the terminology for it, but they like at the surface right there in my skin. And this covers them up if you have like a little bit of discoloration, bruising, whatever. This stuff is really good. I don't know if it's still on the market. Maybe you can find it on Amazon. If I see it on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. But I got it on clearance for a dollar and I'm just now using it. And I probably got this, I ain't even gonna lie y'all, probably a year ago. I think I originally got this to use for like the inside of my lace, to spray my lace. And just never used it, but... This shit works. It's one of the pools right here. This look like a family pool. I seen kids and stuff over there. Okay, the pool bar is closed. What the fuck? Child, they were talking about a pool party. Where is the party? Where is the party pool leg? Oh, this is liquid pool th this way. 
Okay, because I don't hear nothing but elevator music. <laughs> Y'all, how about none of the pools were serving food? None of them. Zero. They have like five different pools. They said, oh, because this is our first weekend opening up for the season. We don't have any of the kitchens open by the pool. So it almost works out good that the section was canceled because we had a $1,500 cabana so the way it works is you have to eat and drink fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff with there being no food y'all say hey this is bestie with there being no food we would have to drink fifteen hundred dollars worth of liquor between the three of us ain't possible at all so anyway we're in the food hall eating i got a kimchi chicken sandwich oh where's my kimchi Oh. We're at the Cosmopolitan now. About to see what this pool party is like. Hopefully, it's better than the one at our hotel. five minutes and that's why it's looking kind of casket ready it's looking a little ashy i might go in the bathroom and kind of touch it up again i just i just didn't want to do like a full-on like beat beat take my time i'm like i i, I didn't even want to want to wear makeup tonight honestly i was gonna do a fresh face but i was like let's not it's my last night here come on gina so i'm just putting all of my stuff in my purse Y'all, let me tell y'all again. I don't, I'm just, I'm just a little disappointed with Aria. This is not my first time staying here. I've stayed here before and that experience was actually like a good experience. Um, when we got back from the pool party today, I thought they would have cleaned my room. And let me explain why I'm saying cleaned my room. Um, I walked in, I went straight to the bathroom. I could tell that they came in my room to clean. My shower door was open. The toilet paper was now in a V. Y'all know if you stay at any hotel, or any like really nice hotel, any hotel period, when they clean your room, they put the toilet paper in a V. So I'm like, okay, they cleaned my shower. You know, the all of the body washes are now standing up. The towel is now folded back again, but they didn't clean my, they didn't clean the sink. I could tell, like I took the tag off of my bathing suit. It was still in there. I took the plastic out of the crotch of my bathing suit. That was still there. Um, and just my stuff was everywhere. I'm like, this is weird. So I walk in here and I put my bag down and I'm like, my room service that I ordered yesterday is still here. 
My stuff is just sprawled everywhere. Empty Diet Coke can is still over here. A gum wrapper. I'm like, I almost at this point felt like violated because I'm like, y'all come in my, in my hotel room. Y'all cleaned my shower. Y'all cleaned my half of my bathroom and just left everything else just in disarray. Why were y'all in here? Why would you come in here and only do half of my bathroom? I just, I don't understand it. So I'm like, let me make sure that I have my designer sunglasses. Let me make sure all my shoes are here. My MacBook is here. All my other electronic stuff. You know, I'm just like, what, what? So y'all, I'm, 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 I just don't understand. I don't, at this point, I, I'm, I'm just not understanding like with y'all's housekeeping what is going on with y'all's housekeeping why is it an issue every day like i i don't get it i don't understand it's not that hard to come clean a room and clean it properly so i don't know i'm just it's our last night here i'm just kind of like ready to go <laughs> i i just i'm like i'm really like i feel like they just came in here to like look around and act like they cleaned like what the hell we walked so much of the usher concert last night that I cannot put heels on. I'm like, I can't. I can't do heels. The bottom of my feet still hurt. My ankles hurt. Let me show y'all my outfit. So this is a top from Target. Um, just like a animal print. I just tied it up. Y'all know how I do. These are some leather leggings that I got from Ross for $8. And then these are, oh Lord. <laughs> y'all know I ain't got good balance. Some black and gold uh, chain sandals. And I'm just wearing my same bag. It's the only purse that I brought. So this is what we're wearing for dinner. For our last dinner of the trip. We're going. We're just going downstairs to our lobby, y'all. The restaurant is called Catch. It's a seafood restaurant. It's literally downstairs in this hotel. So I'm, I'm cool with my, with my sandals on. This is Catch, y'all. Look at them. Now we already, we already started. Y'all look get cute. It, get it, get it. Okay. Cute. You look Let's cute. Let's do an outfit check. Outfit check. <laughs> Y'all don't worry about the flip going out here, but top. She in. Okay. Y'all get it wrong. Bag. She in. Pants in style boutique and flip flops fashion Ava. Oh, we taking pictures? Yeah. Oh, look at this. We taking a picture real quick. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Can I set my camera up? No. She's no. I can't. It's a walk through. Oh Jesus. Stuff back. I usually be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna pay for it. 
no. Brussels sprouts. How y'all mess up on Brussels sprouts? How y'all mess up on lobster mash? I mean, lobster mashed potatoes. Horrible. Awful. Do not recommend. Go for the pictures and then go eat somewhere else. Mm -hmm. No. We're going to do the dollar machines. I done upgraded, y'all know. I used to do the penny of the 25 cent machine. We're going to do the dollar machines this go around. Make a little bit more money so I can spend a little bit more. Are you going on that side? You gotta give me some money. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Or is there, what you want? You want a super size? You want Lord, Lord? You want a super size? You don't need extra calories. Nah. You don't need extra calories. No, you don't need it. Yes. You don't need it. She said it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> the fuck? Give me the calories. Bye, Dave. Bye. It's See you over. later. It's Say over. Goodbye. To yesterday. yesterday. back to the room it's 3 45 in the morning oh my makeup look like it's melted off my face y'all dame is so fun and cool and laid back and just so like oh my god if y'all not are not following life with dame dash or flavors by Dame Jash, which is his mukbang channel. Y'all need to. He's so sweet and just so like, oh. I hate that he lives so far away from me. He lives in Detroit and I'm way in Houston. Shit. 
I was like, we have got to link again soon. Like, this was just my plan. Just so, like, he was here for a wedding. I'm here for a birthday. And we were like, we have to link. Like, we got to link. So, I'm so glad. It wasn't very long. It was only about, about like, an hour and a half. But he's so cool. So, so, so cool. And he smells so good. First thing I said was, oh, my God, you smell amazing. <laughs> so... Aww. Aww. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to eat my McDonald's. I got some McDonald's that I bought about 20 minutes ago. It's probably ice cold by now, but I'm about to eat my McDonald's. I'm about to wash my face, take this wig off, take a shower because I don't want to have to do none of that in the morning. So I'm about to do all that tonight. All I want to do when I wake up in the morning, I want to brush my teeth, pack my shit, and go. So I can sleep to the last minute. Literally sleep to about 30 minutes before checkout, so... That's the plan. I was just checking to see if you were awake. Did you just wake up? Oh, you sound like Barry White. Yeah, because my voice is dying. Yeah, you got the deep voice going on. I got the deep voice going on. Thank you, baby. Okay, well, I'm putting my shoes on. They keep knocking on my goddamn door. Huh? They keep knocking on my door. I'm like, why do y'all have been knocking on my door for the past 30 minutes? Okay, y'all, this is it. Last few hours in Vegas. Y'all already know what I gotta do. I'm literally coming home tonight, packing tonight, and leaving out first thing in the morning for a Puerto Rico, oh, a Puerto Rico, oh, oh. Family trip with the kiddos, cause mama can't be traveling the world and not taking her babies on trips, you know? So, yeah. But this is another $4.99 DD's outfit. Y'all got a DD's by you? These are perfect travel outfits, just everyday outfits. Then with my sneakers, you know, you mix your highs and your lows, and you go, ho. We are checked out. But yeah, there's the bestie. She's at guest services. She's still holding out hope that somebody has a conscience and does the right thing and turns in her camera. So, fingers crossed that that will happen, hopefully. But yeah, y'all. This, this is it. We about to go to a restaurant. We about to go to a restaurant, get our last meal, and then get on the bird. I was talking about you. Yeah, yeah, Jasmine picked us up in the drop top, cruising the streets. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. This is not wig friendly uh, vehicle. This is not a wig friendly vehicle. <laughs> We're gonna hope it's it's down tight enough. Tight enough, shoot. Let me put the up. First party of two. Y'all, they building a fountain blue in Vegas. Y'all know that's my favorite hotel slash resort to stay in in Miami. And then over here, they just built a resort world. It is a Hilton resort world. I heard uh, it's a lot going on. In here so this one actually just opened already so this makes me want to come back to stay here and especially at Fountain Blue. Y'all if we end in the vlog here I'm sorry we about to take off and uh I ain't got nothing to say because I lost my camera and I'm saying y'all pray for my best she gonna it's all right it's big and better things it's a minor setback for a major comeback okay thinking positive But I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And until next time. Until next time. We start it all over again tomorrow.